Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I know you guys have probably been waiting on my uh, thoughts about the NBA 2K19 early gameplay impressions, as well as talking about some of the new things that have been added to 2K. Now, we're going to go over a couple things in this video. I'm not going to deep dive into too much, but I do want to go over an article that I've seen about the early 2K19 gameplay. This actual article was from Game Informer. I'll probably do another couple videos on Operation Sports articles as well as Forbes articles. But today, I just wanted to give you guys that, you know, don't put the wall over your eyes type of vibe. Now, Game Informer, they put inside their article all the problems that were wrong with NBA 2K18. Now, as far as NBA 2K19 goes, it seems that the feeling that this writer was getting was that everything that we expected 2K18 to be as far as gameplay, presentation, uh, problems with the actual motion system that was in the game, that 2K never told us that there was a problem, they seem to say, well, 2K worked on everything that was wrong with NBA 2K18. So, as far as a big upgrade, I wouldn't call it an upgrade from the sake that the devs knew what their target was and what they wanted to do with the project, but it seems to me that everything that was wrong, they polished it, they fixed it, they nerfed a couple things, they said that they had a whole new motion system last year, so they had to get a handle on how certain reactions would happen when offensive players would do certain things, when defensive players would do certain things, also clipping that was going on in the game like a lot of clipping they said that they dramatically reduced it and fixed most of the problems that you know the naked eye could see so let's talk about the first thing that everybody is talking about the shot meter so it seems to me that when a bunch of different youtubers and creators and streamers and uh i would call them super mega stars musicians uh artists uh, movie star, who, whoever was at the party, NBA players, was at this uh, rooftop party or whatever the case may be. A couple YouTubers got scanned into the game. Congrats to all of those guys. But what I took from that was the gameplay. I seen it. It was looking okay. I seen a little uh, new scoreboard and everything like that. But I really didn't get to see too much, you know, crisp, clear, off-camera footage, which I never judge video games off of cell phone footage but what I did see was a lot of people tweeting about this shot meter and I'm just thinking to myself like okay so you know we haven't had any news for a while you know it was getting kind of dry and you know all of a sudden they got this bang up event and from that event it seems like everybody said oh they put in two shot meters in the game it's about to be lit and I'm just thinking to myself like hold up if you follow Mike Wang on Twitter, he legit, I'm talking, this was like maybe a month ago. He asked about which shot meter did we like and why. Now, if anybody noticed, for the news about the new two shot meters, it's really one of the shot meters that was in the existing game from last year and one in one of the previous titles. So basically, they're giving you the option to choose between one of them, you could put on both of them, or you can completely take them off. Now, what I can say is maybe the effect will look a lot better if you had both of them equipped. But the funny thing is the shot meter from last year never told you, you know, your like probability of hitting a shot from however far away from the basket you were. And since they implemented that by bringing an old shot meter back, which is guys, it's, it's, it's not new. It's they bring something back, which worked. And, you know, you know, what I mean, you feeling where I'm coming from, right? So they did that. They bring this this new shot meter back in. And, you know, everybody just was like, hooray, they did it. You know, their, their game is getting fixed. Everything is happening the way we want it. And I'm like, guys, we have to get hands on with the game. The only way the consumers can tell if the game is fully done is when the game fully comes out. Because I know for a fact that the build that those guys played wasn't a build that was ready to be shipped off as a demo or anything like that. No, this was a beta to the demo. Not a beta to the full game, a beta to the demo that they're going to probably be releasing, I would say, maybe about another two weeks, maybe. Yeah, I would say about two, maybe three weeks. So they'll probably leave us with the demo for maybe like, 
I would say like a week and a half to two weeks. So it's basically a beta to the demo. They had 5v5 with the Los Angeles Lakers and the Golden State Warriors. Now, we all know why they didn't put the Cleveland Cavaliers in there. I mean, the guys got swept. LeBron left. It's no real reason to put the Cavaliers in anything else anymore until they get another superstar. So, with that being said, they played with the New Look Lakers, they played with the Golden State Warriors, and people said that they got into some heated 5v5 battles, but at the same time, a lot of guys that went to the event, it seemed like to me, they weren't really saying anything bad about the game, they were like, okay, something was in the game that happened to be in the game last year, it seems like it's re reduced, or some people even said things were just taken out automatically. So there was really no bad talk about 2K. Now, as a creator, I like the sign of that. I like the sign that, okay, the creators aren't saying anything bad about it. So the game must be getting good. So I started looking up, you know, a bunch of articles. I started watching more gameplay and stuff like that. And a couple people were telling me that blow buys are still in the game as well as snatchbacks are still in the game. So... I decided, why not? Why not read more articles? Why not read up on this? And come to find out, they have a new stealing system, which means if people want to steal the ball, play actual defense, they've actually rebuilt and put in a new system. Now, I'm not totally sure if this new system is 100% ready to go. I'm not sure if it's 70, 80, 90, or 100. I just know that they put a new system in and that I want to try it out because I'm all about the cookies. Y'all been, whoever been watching my channel for a long time, y'all know what time it is, man. I'm about those cookies. I'm about those steals. So the takeover system, this is something new that 2K has added. And funny thing, Anybody remember the whole uh, Justice, the orange juice vibe that you used to get into my career set where you would just get extremely hot and whatever vibe you and your teammate had, you were able to control both of them at the same time. So basically, they now have regular players that can go Super Saiyan at any given time. Now, before you guys go completely crazy, basically the way that they explained it in the article was say for Jean Rondo gets hot they would give him more of a dribbling boost and a passing boost they wouldn't give him a plus 27 to his three-point rating or nothing like that they wouldn't give clay thompson the ability to now dribble like a kyrie irving they wouldn't do that whatever the player is good at or whatever he excels at that's where he will get hot so they were basically saying like say for instance rudy gobert or anthony davis get hot they will be the ultimate rim protector. There will be no coming in the paint whatsoever if that guy gets hot. Now, I'm not totally sure if it's a defensive or offensive end type of thing, or is it does it even matter where they get hot at, or do they just come full circle and turn Super Saiyan? I'm really not sure. I can't wait to get my hands on the game to see how the takeover system actually is, so I can see how it plays out and see what type of player I want to create, so I can see what type of ways I want to take over a game. Okay, so let's talk about the clipping. Now, if nobody knows what clipping is, basically it means, say for instance, um, I'm dribbling idle at the top of the key, and a player that knows that bump steals are really a thing for NBA 2K18, they walk up to me and they try to get a bump steal, but what tends to happen is, if these are our players, they tend to go like this. They tend to start clipping, arms start going through arms, legs start going through chest, kneecaps, just weird type of clipping and animations, right? So basically, in this article, they said that Mike Wayne actually admitted to the clipping that they they found something late in their collision system and how everything worked and he said it was pretty embarrassing and you know I, this is like one of the first times i ever heard that you know they, they finally took fault for that so it's kind of good to see that you know people knew that something was wrong but i would love to see that you know they take i guess responsibility for that early on instead of into a new cycle of a game because i promise you with all the problems that nba 2k18 had the biggest problem of the community not riding for 2k is because 
there was no transparency. It was really like behind closed doors. We can't say nothing. We just got to try to fix as much as we can. And that kind of, you know, had people turning away from 2K. You know what I mean? It, it was like one of those moments where we had a video game that was, wasn't was even a basketball game. It was a shooter. You know what I'm saying? Third person fun building type of video game. We know Fortnite came out and then like every 2K person that I know, like honestly, said, you know what? I'm kind of off this 2K. I'm going to become a Fortnite creator. So it's kind of weird that, you know, instead of, you know, those 2K guys saying, you know what, I'm going to go play another basketball game such as NBA Live, they just said, no, nah, I'm going to go play Fortnite because it's the hot thing. It's the new thing to do. So it, it just showed me that the loyalty is only there if you say, hey, I know we have a problem, guys. We want to be completely transparent. And as our consumers, as the people that purchase our game, we want to let you know what we're going through. I mean, I, I promise you, if they would have kept it all the way 100 with everybody, yo, dog, people would have still been playing the game because we would have we would have been riding for a company that said, you know what, yo, they 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 mess with us because they told us they ain't keep us in the dark. You know what I mean? So back to the clipping. So basically, clipping has been reduced dramatically. So you know, I'm, I'm gonna use the quote dramatically reduced. Now, when I say reduced, I don't mean it's completely gone. Remember, this is a video game. I mean, people phase through people all the time in all different types of games. So we can't sit up here and say, oh, man, it's great. They shouldn't they shouldn't be clipping at all. This is crazy. This is bull crap. Listen, it's a video game, bro. It's a video game. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that out of the way now. Now, as far as like being reduced and stuff like that, I just don't want there to be instances where, you know, my head go through the rim or... You know, um, I might swipe through a player and I swipe from his belly button up through his head. That's the only things I don't want to see. You know what I mean? Like, if, if if possible, if they can stop the clipping as much as possible, maybe I swipe, go to his hip, to his armpit, and my arm come back down because it can't go through. I would love that. If it was a little bit clipping, like maybe th this much of my fingers, like go through his armpit and then come back down, that's cool. But I just don't want my whole arm going through nobody's body and stuff like that. You know what I mean? That, that, that's what I got to say about clipping. So I think that's all, man. I think that's all I'm going to cover today, man. I talked about it a lot. If you guys want to read the article that I read, make sure you guys check the first link inside the description. It's a really nice read. I'm telling you guys, it's, you're going to learn a lot about, you know what I'm saying, the people that had hands-on experience and their impressions. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, when I get my hands on the game, you know how I do. You know what I'm saying? After I get done playing 2K19 for the first time, I'm going to do maybe like a two, three hour live stream just talking to the fans about what I've seen, how I played it, and what to expect from my point of view. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you guys subscribe if you're not. Make sure you guys like the video. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one, man. Peace. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoy this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.